tell you let me tell you why and the reason why I say it's no disrespect but I'm saying that because as you see I have a physical copy in my mm-hmm. hand so I do something very different like you can stream my shit mm-hmm. and that's fine but I'm a artist to the T I created this right here which is called the already legendary wristbands this mm. is a USB all of, I wear it on my wrist, but this has 32 gigs of music on this. So my whole catalog is on this, and I sell this on my website. Really? Yes, I sell these on my website. They don't sell right now for 75, but they sold for $100 on my website. So people could plug this directly into their cars. They can watch my videos. They can watch my documentary. They can watch that. the movie. All on that. All on this. I wow. want that right there. Have, That's okay. what I want right okay. there. Okay. All right. You I, insist, I, mean, I need that. Okay. All right. I don't so ain't no game. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. But I want to get into real quick because, you know, we're You're closing out. Close oh, yeah, yeah. But um, I know you started doing film. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So tell me about your movie because that's what you started okay. branching off into. And why did you choose to do that? <laughs> it's a very interesting story on why I chose to do it. Um, uh, 2018, when I say I purchased my house, I was going through a breakup. When oh. I went through that breakup, um, I got an email around the same time from the casting director for this show called, it was called Pussy Valley at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, they and said that the Katori Valley. Yes. Okay. So they 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 said um, a playwright named Katori Hall is a fan of my music and she wants me to audition for this show. Send the tape in. Um, at the time, I was going through a breakup. I'm moving. I'm looking for a house. All that, and I don't. I never. I've never done acting before, so mm-hmm. I didn't really believe in myself as an actress. So they was like, you gotta. Um, pole dance you have to have a little knowledge of pole dancing that was something that kind of (laughs) I'm like "Mm." so it was something that didn't I hadn't heard of Katori Hall at the time you know so it was just some shit that I'm like okay I don't know what this is whatever it's just something that can't come coming across um maybe about six months later I heard that the the director for that show I think it was just online somewhere that her name was Corinne um, Stevens or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Evans, yeah. Evans, Karina Evans. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, oh shit, I know her. She does a lot of videos, and that's that show. But it still didn't cross my mind until. And then when it later became P Valley mm-hmm. and, and this phenomenon that it is now, then I started to think, I'm like, oh shit. So I told myself, you know, first of all, you got to believe in yourself. These people saw something in you that you ain't see your, seeing yourself right, at the time exactly. and you passed on that opportunity. So I said, I'm going to put myself out there more. And um, and as of recent, I became one of the cast members on a show called Wicked City um, that shot here in yes. Atlanta. It's on the AMC network. Uh-huh, I've yeah, seen so it. that was my first time like getting into acting in that way. I've done some other films, but with this particular project, I have um, I shot a movie. It's a 35 minute film, short film, um, and that acts. Uptown Butterfly X as the soundtrack for it. So wow. it's kind of like a coming of age story. And like I said, I have a production company. So I started, I was like, why you not film all my yourself. own shit? Right. I filmed 90% of my videos wow. on my own. So it was only naturally that I would venture off and start filming my own yeah. films. And that's yeah. just showing you what you, showing everybody what you can do and eventually branch off to filming other people's movies yeah. and so forth. So yeah. that's, that's Absolutely. perfect. Man, Absolutely. you dope, man. Like I said, I'm going to be, I can have this right you can buy it okay that's let's fine. let's let's do that man that's live. all i love man, <laughs> you, can buy that. you can buy it you can buy it i'll do that she, i love the hustle it. man i'm a hustler it's 3d not t.com you hear what i just said that. i yeah, got yeah. to have this no i'm just saying that let, saying? Me, let me let me let me <laughs> tell you right. let me tell you why and the reason why i say it is no disrespect but i'm saying that because as you see i have a physical copy in my mm-hmm. hand so i do something very different like you can stream my shit mm-hmm. and that's fine but i'm a artist to the T. I created this right here, which is called the Already Legendary Wristbands. This mm. is a USB. 
all of, I wear it on my wrist, but this has 32 gigs of music on this. So my whole catalog is on this and I sell this on my website. Really? Yes, I sell these on my website. They don't sell right now for 75, but they sold for $100 on my website. So people could plug this directly into their cars. They can watch my videos. They can watch my documentary. They can watch that. the movie. All on that. All on this. I wow. want that right they there. Have, That's okay. what I want right okay. there. Okay, all right. You I insist, mean, I need that. Okay, all right. No, so, no, no game. so, so, so this right here is they a come in different colors. Wilson. Yeah, it come in different colors. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna um, ride to that all the way back. Know that. So, <laughs> so this right here you can get on 3dnt.com. But when I say you can buy it, it's because hold it up in the show because the camera. <laughs> when I say that so you can, can buy it, it, it's because oh, I got to um, have that right there. I got to have that one. Yeah, that's streaming. Dope. With streaming, you know, they kind of like take away from the artists, and I really put my heart and soul no, into this. You're exactly you know right. What I'm saying? You know so, who would love that? Al D. Oh, I love it, man. Al That's D. what I'm getting. I buy everything. Like, nah, I ain't letting y'all win. I, mean, yeah, I, I, I have listen, another one. But in you, you got to understand the, the whole game is this, man. What you saying is happening, and you doing it. Uh, that Al D. Three Hundred does yes. it. Would you want a million streams get you four thousand? A hundred and sixty flash drives from me. One hundred and sixty. Not thousand, one hundred and sixty flash drives. I make four thousand with. Wow. That's that's one. That's a half a day of sales. Wow. Man, what the hell, like I'm I'm not even you know. And this is where we live in. We live in a time of misinformation. A lot of you know craziness that got people thinking that um, something is winning when it's really not. We want the bread. We want we do what we love to do, and we want the money from it. You yes, gotta sir. show them. You gotta show them. You're showing them right there. That is my tenth. That is the thirteenth album I've done in thirty months. That's what I'm telling you, sir. In thirty months, Aldi got out March twenty fifth, twenty nineteen. Whatever the day is, that's what the day is. We're thirteen albums later, and I'm here for the second time. Uh, it's sir. It, look, Kiki does it. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's the rollout for me for in, independent artists. I'm loving it because y'all figuring out how to do it without yeah. being, you know, uh, the, the the big brother is not not having to do it for you. You yeah. you figured it out. That's the hustler mentality. And, and you got to think about yeah. it. There's a lot of people that even when me and Lil Kiki was interviewing a few weeks ago, and he was talking about the 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 process of the CD yeah. and how the music. Uh, I think Snoop has said that the streaming is not, you know, basically paying the way it should or whatever mm -hmm. but he up one and said look he was like no nah, but we we are we are brand ambassadors we didn't know how they made them cassettes we didn't know how they made right, those dvds yeah. we just knew that we was getting a little bit off of them it's the same thing with this we don't know what they're doing but it's creating something to where we can go out and leverage off of it yeah and we got to make that happen within our brand independently now and mm -hmm. i think that's dope that you're yeah. doing that that's, absolutely i love it bro that, that, that's it right there thank you you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> That's hard. People don't buy CDs hardly anymore. They no. don't. When they and this right here, when you buy this from my website, you also get a digital download of the movie and the album. Wow. So it's like you buy it, but a lot of people, you know, they have a collection of my projects, yeah, yeah. and this is just something souvenir. a lot of time, yeah, that people buy as a souvenir, souvenir. You know what I mean? But I still give you the whole Package. digital, right. yeah, yeah, everything. Same thing with Glass awesome. Malone. Like yeah. when he came, he, he brought the too. vinyl. He brought us the yeah, vinyl. He has yeah, yeah. Vinyl. This, this this has done really well. Initially, when I dropped this in November, they were um, thirty three dollars okay. on my website, and they did really, really well. I put them on sale right now because I'm getting some of the the um, last album into, so I'm gonna sell it as a combo okay. package on 3 dnatcom Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.